Hi guys, we are going to talk about the European Union pushing its issue of carbon border taxes. So let's explore this topic in a little more detail. What it means is that the European Union is mulling a carbon border tax, which means that uh, they are they're planning to force the emerging economies to adopt cleaner, non-fossil based practices in manufacturing. That is being done with a view to reduce your pollution. Remember this Greta Thunberg's rants about uh, uh, environment protection and all that given too much of publicity in the recent past. So probably some of these, of course, with good intentions, the EU is trying to uh, put in place uh, coming to, you know, come with all these initiatives to control pollution. But the manner in which it is being done is not liked by everybody. For example, the basic nations, basic is an acronym, B-A-S-I-C, which stands for Brazil, South Africa, India and China, basic nations. They have jointly opposed this initiative. If you remember, a week back, India hosted the 30th ministerial meeting of this conference headed by Prakash Javdekar, the environment minister. So they have expressed concerns, especially the points about uh, introducing trade barriers, unilateral carbon border adjustments, etc., etc., against the emerging economies. There's nothing wrong in doing that, but the haste at which it's being done, uh, this is being imposed on people without proper discussions. I think these are the bone of contention as far as these countries are concerned. In fact, they say, these four countries, basic countries say that they are against the principle of equity and CBDRRC. This stands for common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities. It is what they are saying. D C B D R R C. Even if you don't write that in your essays, it is fine. But if you write that, that will give you a big advantage in terms of mark scoring, okay, in your answer paper. So why all this is being done? These are all being done ahead of the 26th session on UN Climate Conference. This is expected to be held in Glasgow in the month of uh, November during this year. And before that, I think in the month of uh, May or June, the dates have not been fixed, there will be a joint statement by the European Union and other countries in terms of some of its proposals. Okay, this is as far as the context uh, uh, in which the basic nations that is Brazil, South Africa, India and China have opposed this initiative. Okay, opposed in the sense they are not opposing it completely, but the manner in which it's presented in terms of your trade barriers, trade barriers, your unilateral carbon adjustments, etc, etc. These issues need to be looked into in a little more detail because capabilities of different countries are different because all these countries are at different stages of development right so this meeting is expected to take place in the month of june and there is one more committee meeting which might take place in the month of august or september before the final event which will take place in glasgow in november and that will be the un climate conference and that will be called as cop26 very important let's wait for those things these things might form important questions for uh, both preliminary uh, UPSC uh, as well as the IAS main, civil services main examination. Thank you. And you might go to the net and surf a little more. But this information is, I think, more than enough from the preliminary point of view. Okay, guys, we will be coming up with lots and lots of uh, this kind of information. Of course, not in full detail because most of these videos you will find that they will all be for approximately three or four minutes because the span of attention is only that much. But in a day, if you go through 10 such tidbits of information and spend around 30 minutes, you can just imagine that in the next 350, uh, 60 days, you will have 3,600 more information coupled with proper statistics. Now, out of that, even if you remember 50%, it is approximately 1,800 tidbits of information, each of which you have enough meat to write for three minutes. That can make a big differentiator between selection into the services or non-selection into the services. 
right if you have any topics in mind which you want me to put up please do so in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel if you like the contents of it not just one we are going to come up with many many more thank you very much best wishes for your success in the ias examination 2021 jai hind சுருங்கி பேரிந்தால்